storm is moving into rural parts of southern and central Otter Tail County toward Battle Lake. If you're in these areas, you should be uh, calmly getting to an interior room, like a, a hallway away from windows, and sitting down on the ground and covering your head and waiting for us to give you the all clear. The good news is it's moving off to the northeast and Dalton uh, is out of the area of the rotation right now. Um, Ashby is out of the area of rotation right now. It's north of you and moving away from you. But if you are in Battle Lake, it's moving right toward you at this time. So tight rotation showing up on the radar. The tight rotation is now over Highway 78 where we see the reds and the greens next to each other. Once again, you're getting familiar with what these things mean. Red means motion away from the radar in Mayville. Green means motion towards. So there is our rotating couplet. It's remaining on the southern side, if you will, of this thunderstorm complex. So if you just mark this spot and we put up the radar data in this same area, we can circle then the area of of problem right here. So it's remaining in the southern area of the uh, polygon, if you will. It's just moving more in just a more due east is that rotating couplet at about 25 miles per hour. With this information, oh, I'm, I apologize, I'm gonna have to zoom out so I can correctly time out the uh, cities in the path of the tight rotation. Here is our couplet, our rotating couplet moving east northeast at 25 miles per hour. I am not saying you are safe in Battle Lake, but it looks like it's going to pass to the south of you. This is heading in more in the general direction of rural parts of southern Otter Tail County and Almora would be in the path of this storm on the outside of the next uh, 45 minutes or so. So um, again, it's mainly looking like it's going to stay rural. I got new information here from the National Weather Service. Uh, reporting of a tornado on the ground just five minutes ago. Uh, three farmsteads have been hit. The tornado is currently uh, working its way uh, from 295th and State Highway 82. And it has uh, tornado crossed I-94, but no vehicles were uh, impacted when it did so. So it started way back uh, at uh, Interstate 94, back in this area right over here. And uh, let me get my pointer out so you can see. Back in this area near Ashby, it crossed I-94 crossed north of Ashby, hit an, uh, a farmstead, ripped the roof off a house. It, hit, it has hit now, according to this uh, report, multiple farmsteads, three on its way across southern Otter Tail County. It does look like Battle Lake is going to stay north, but if you are in Battle Lake, please stay in your tornado shelter. The tornado warning does continue until 6. It does appear that at this point it's steering off more on the southern and, and uh, eastern side of this polygon. Otter Tail, if you are in Otter Tail, this storm, there is a storm over you, uh, but the, the rotating and violent storm is just to the south of you. Checking in on that storm that is over the Otter Tail area, there is some rotation showing up in that guy as well, okay? So all these two storms, both of them are separate thunderstorms. The one near Rush Lake, and I believe we had damage photos from the Rush Lake area last night. Uh, this storm here is also showing uh, uh, some signs of rotation at cloud level here, uh, right over the Otter Tail area. So we'll keep our eyes on that potential as well. But uh, if you are in the path, if you're in Otter Tail, Rush Lake, I would seek shelter in the interior room, staying away from windows. That storm on the north side seems to be rotating, but this one has definitely uh, got a tornado, a large tornado, as viewed by emergency managers and storm chasers in the area. It's on the ground. It is now getting ready. Uh, it has crossed State Highway 82, okay? And there's uh, County Highway 38 that is in the path. There's County uh, Highway 126 uh, that is in the path of the rotation. We are zoomed in completely into where the rotation is right here. County Highway 12, County Highway 81. All of these areas are going to be um, in the path of this dangerous and large tornado as it moves through. Again, reports indicate that within the last five minutes that it has crossed over past and, and uh, at least damaged, if not uh, substantially damaged, three farmsteads as it's worked its way across southern parts of Otter Tail County. Here is a loop of just the last hour from the storm's onset. It formed right over I-94 and it had a tornado that crossed the interstate and now is working its way off to the north and to the east. We're watching for development elsewhere, but right now, again, this is the only uh, thunderstorm. There are two of them, uh, one, one separate on the south side here that has the tornado, uh, one on the north side. 
that is uh, working its way uh, right towards Otter Tail, Otter Tail Lake, as a matter of fact. So if I turn the radar off, you can kind of get a feel for the impacted areas and lakes. You would be familiar with what lakes you, uh, you are at. East Battle Lake, West Battle Lake, right here near Battle Lake, Vining, and Point South, uh, really under the gun. So any of these lakes down here in the southern, southern and central part of Otter Tail County, if you're at them, if you're in an RV, you need to get out, particularly along and near this Highway 78 corridor is where the uh, rotating couplet is showing up right now. Uh, we're going to keep on the air with you with this storm until the threat is gone, and we are um, uh, efforting to uh, gather your information, your photos, your reports, National Weather Service's photos and reports. I want to pass along that we uh, do, uh, boy, I'm just trying to find out if this came in to me or if it's to uh, our station. There, there's some video showing up of the, this large funnel on the ground too. So we're efforting to gather that information for you at this time. But what we do have uh, the latest information from uh, a single source here, this is Debo Flanagan, Stalker Lake. Uh, some time ago, the tornado on the ground. Uh, there you see the uh, thin kind of uh, tube-shaped tornado. And then the next photo that you see from Deb as well, again, over Stalker Lake, it has a much wider cone appearance, a cone tornado. And when we get those, those are usually a little bit more on the violent side with their wind speed potential as well. So uh, a dangerous storm rolling through southern parts and central parts of Otter Tail County. Another storm developing north near Otter Tail Lake. We're watching very closely. It too is showing some signs, at least on radar, of some rotation to me uh, at this time. We are continuing to uh, track these storms. If you are Battle Lake to Vining and Point South, that's where the main threat of rotation is with this storm as it works its way to the east. Thank you very much. Uh, let's take a look. Uh, I, I'm gathering information as I'm talking to you, so I just want to make sure that we're getting the very latest out there to you. And uh, according to uh, posts that have been posted to our website, we're seeing that uh, numerous people are witnessing this because it's not far from the interstate, and from the interstate you have a view of it. Uh, go ahead, Nathan. What do you have? We have a video that was sent in to us as well from the Dalton area. Okay. Let me text viewer photo three. Okay. All right, well, I'll effort to load that up. Thank you. I'll get that going here. Um, a video sent in, and it was from the, the this storm we're talking about yeah, here? From the Dalton area. Okay. All right, so as the storm was moving through, I'll have to... There, there it is. Okay, so while we're doing a little bit of editing here live on, on TV, let's show you the video. There it is. Okay, this is huge. Okay, take a look at this huge uh, uh, rotation as it's made contact with the ground. You can see down at the bottom uh, where it's lofting up debris on the ground. So you've got the huge funnel uh, located with this storm right here. Uh, very wide, tight rotation. There is the uh, rope-shaped tornado down on contact with the ground. It's kicking up all kinds of debris. This was sent in by uh, Melinda. That, that is the wrong one? I haven't, I haven't changed that yet. I haven't oh. changed the name yet. The name is wrong. Yeah, the just... New Rockford's nowhere near this, but uh, we'll get the name uh, uh, fixed for you. So, but at any rate, this, this is a look at the corn in southern Otter Tail County and uh, the farmstead so close to this very violent tornado that is working its way through uh, southern Otter Tail County. And I am going to see if I can find the, uh, the name, too, of our viewer, because we want to give credit where uh, credit is due for that. that. The information there is not correct. Here is a look at the radar once again as we are tracking a storm in Otter Tail County that has produced a very large storm, a very large tornado. Oh, okay. Christine Lavoie sent that in. Okay, Christine, thank you very much for taking the time to uh, upload your photo. You can upload those at Valley News Live. Go to valleynewslive.com. Christine Lavoie, taking shots from the Dalton area, looking at this storm. It was mainly to the north and to the uh, east of the Dalton area. It was north of Ashby. Excuse me, it was south of Dalton, right? South of Dalton uh, and north of Ashby. There it is again. Okay, here is a, a, an update on the latest radar data. And this storm is only crawling farther and farther away from the radar. So it's getting harder and harder for us to witness what is going on with it on the radar because we're looking at higher and higher slices through the cloud. So uh, we'll keep uh, monitoring this storm. But again, the, uh, the tight rotation and the couplet with this storm is still apparent with it as it works its way across 
uh, southern Otter Tail County. Notice our colors are not as red here. Um, this could be a function of two different things. The storm is losing some of its hail potential, or it could be that it's getting a little farther away from the radar and we're looking higher up and there's not as much hail lofted that high up into the cloud. As far as velocity goes, the spin in the cloud is still very evident on the radar. Uh, the spin on the northern storm is still evident on the radar to me at least weekly near Rush Lake, near Rush Lake where you see the greens and reds next to each other. So both of these thunderstorms, there are two distinct thunder, thunderstorm cells in this area. One near Rush Lake showing some signs of rotation, but the one with the violent and large tornado on the ground that has reportedly struck three farmsteads uh, as it's worked its way uh, in, in an eastward motion across parts of southern Otter Tail County uh, doing damage uh, to farmsteads down in the southern part of the valley. So a uh, southern part of Otter Tail County, I should say. Let me uh, go ahead and put an icon on here to uh, show you the track of this, uh, this really large tornado. It started way off on the left-hand side of your screen here. And that tornado worked its way from here near the Dalton Nashby area, crossed the interstate, it's moved across, hit three farmsteads, and now is located right about there. So visually, that, that is an ideal uh, idea of where things are at. Again, the storm continues to rotate tightly. It looks like the movement of the tornadic part of this thunderstorm is moving almost due east. Okay, while the uh, hail and thunderstorm is hitting Battle Lake, uh, the threat is starting to pass you by in Battle Lake, which is good news. Uh, if you are in uh, this part of the county, Dalton and Ashby, the rotating part of the storm is off to your east and uh, is moving away from you. That is good, uh, but we are watching closely uh, southern uh, parts of the, the area as well. Another photo? Yeah, text your photo eight. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at that. Okay, another view of this very large. Look at the silos there, uh, the dairy farms. Kerry capturing this near Battle Lake. So you're looking off toward where the sun is setting. You can see the bright sunshine there. Um, so yeah, near Battle Lake, looking at that storm from a distance and still numerous photos. Okay, just in from the National Weather Service, I've got a couple more pieces of information uh, to put uh, uh, in, into your hands here with this storm. Uh, Number one, a confirmed tornado located just south of Battle Lake, moving northeast at 20 miles per hour. Okay, let me thank you for letting me know. Apparently my computer is, uh, there it is, there it is. it's back. Okay, uh, it's had a busy day. Um, there is a tornado on the ground, a large tornado located just south of Battle Lake, moving northeast at 20 miles per hour. That's the latest from the uh, National Weather Service. There's no distance how far south of Battle Lake it, it was located, but uh, that's what they're giving us uh, on the uh, text product. I have another non-confirmed report, but I'm going to read it first before I pass it along since it's not confirmed. Okay, um, this report is not confirmed, but it's from a chaser that the tornado just lifted from the location that they were seeing it from, and it was on the ground for 30 minutes. And uh, that's not kidding, because we certainly uh, have had a number of photos come in. So again, just south of Battle Lake is the tornado. Just south of Battle Lake, it looks like on the radar data by about five miles. Okay, so right at the tip of Hutch's arrow there is where the uh, tornado is located. And it is moving east-northeast at 20 miles per hour. So it's still a dangerous and rotating storm. It will be moving very close to you in Vining. If you are in Vining, please seek shelter in that interior room that we've been talking about, the safe location. And while we uh, get you to your safe location, we have another photo to share with you uh, from the control room. You guys got that? And can you tell me, can you repeat that? Okay, Emma Berry is uh, the, the uh, phot photographer on this one. And I want to take a closer look. I can barely see it. Wow, look at the size of that uh, the cone that you're seeing there. Um, from, is that, you said from Fergus Falls? Okay. Stalker Lake Golf Course from Fergus Falls, and that was a huge cone tornado that is, uh, that is uh, on the ground, and it was visible from the, uh, the, uh, the Fergus Falls area as it worked its way through. All right, tornado warning update from the National Weather Service is continued, and at uh, just minutes ago, 
A confirmed tornado was located south of Battle Lake, moving northeast at 20 miles per hour. It'll be in Vining by 608. So you got 20 minutes in Vining. Uh, it's a slow mover. In Vining, you're getting, you can't see anything, right? Because between you and the tornado in Vining, there's nothing but rain. This blob of orange and red is very heavy rain. So if you're in Vining, you cannot even see the tornado on the ground because there's rain. That gets to be a little scary because you're getting rain and possible hail shafts over your area. And then all of a sudden the rotating part of the storm comes um, uh, moving in. Uh, basically from this location right here, just south of Battle Lake, the tornado is located and it'll be moving in this general direction at about 20 miles per hour or so. And it will be right near you guys in Vining by around 610 to 615. So again, Clitheroe, you're in the path of this. You're getting heavy rain and hail. And with any luck at all, the rotation and tight couplet will stay just to your south. But this is a, a, an isolated thunderstorm, two thunderstorms in Ottertail County. Uh, if I visit north near Highway 10, uh, their storms are moving north uh, east there towards New York Mills over Rush Lake, which was hit hard. We did get some damage photos from the overnight and early morning storms uh, of Rush Lake, of some damage done by storms in the area. And uh, get, once again, you have some thunderstorms there. These particular thunderstorms are not warned for, um, but just south of there, there is one. Uh, this storm near Rush Lake was showing some signs of rotation on the Doppler radar. And that, that is really weak now. I don't, I don't think that that is an issue anymore for that particular thunderstorm. But the one moving through southern and central parts of Ottertail County is, and it's moving in the, in the direction of vining. Heavy rain, heavy hail, and uh, tight rotation continue with the storm. So again, our, uh, our Facebook posts that you guys are sending to us, we really appreciate the, the updates you give to us. Uh, we appreciate the uh, National Weather Service for passing along the information and the spotters are all necessary because when we're looking at the radar inside our brick walls here at the studio, it doesn't tell us exactly what's on the ground and that's where your photos and your eyeballs come in very handy. Again, um, we want to thank Christine Lavoie for the video that she sent in. Again, that video is right here. That storm is uh, volatile, it's violent, and it is making its way in toward the vining area right now. Here is again the look at that video sent in by Christine. And when we look at it, you can just watch on the ground how that rotation is just picking up debris and lofting it into the air. Um, there were reports from a chaser that they, that chaser had witnessed it hit three farmsteads in southern parts of uh, Ottertail County. Um, good, the good news is, is, look, tornadoes, if you look at this picture, Tornadoes themselves are small and they impact a very, very small area, right? It is a small area impacted by a bigger thunderstorm and the thunderstorm itself isn't really even that big. So the chances of the tornado hitting your area is not very good, but if something like this moves into an area that's populated or into a farmstead, it can do tremendous damage very quickly. So it's really urgent to get the word out to make sure uh, folks in the path of the storm know what's heading their way. Here's another uh, photo that was shared with us. This one shared by Deb Stalker Lake from a distance. You can see a skinny view of the uh, funnel right there. Um, from this picture, we cannot tell for certain that that funnel is in contact with the ground, but it sure looks dangerously close. And another view of that same uh, storm from Deb shows how the funnel has widened. Do you notice how the change took place there? That cone tornado is what we uh, got reports of doing some violent damage. There is some good news on the radar display. We're seeing an overall general weakening of the hail potential with the storms. Um, when we're looking at these, the blues that you were seeing on the radar here at the beginning of the storms over here were hail cores in these two thunderstorm cells. And those hail cores have fallen out and collapsed. What that means is that the updraft is kind of uh, weakening briefly. It may pick back up in intensity too. That happens sometimes. But for now, the general trend of these thunderstorms is to be weakening. The general trend of the rotation though does continue. It's very far away from the radar and it's not uh, ideal to, to be this high up in the cloud with our, our radar data, but it is showing that the tight rotation is right here where we see the greens and the reds right near the vining area, right near vining. So if you're in vining and henning, that is the uh, location of the tight rotation right now. 
You'll want to seek shelter in that interior room. Please get to the lowest floor possible. Exit things like campers. Exit things like uh, RVs and mobile homes and get into a more sturdy structure. And it's getting uh, up towards Highway 210 where there is a little bit more population uh, up in that area. Um, it has missed, the, the tight rotation has missed Battle Lake. The threat in Battle Lake is all but done for now in Battle Lake. But the lakes area just off to the east near Clitheroe and points east of there still under the threat of the storm. Nathan? Another photo. Okay. Coming in northeast of Ashby. Okay, let me take a look here if I can find it. What is the name? 11. Okay, 11. We're looking for file 11. Pardon me while we do some digging and searching here for the uh, content that's created. There it is. Yes. Okay. All right, so another photo. And again, we appreciate each and every one of you for taking the time to... Uh, to upload your photos. Let's see if I can, maybe my computer doesn't like it. There it is. Okay, there is a rain wrapped tornado. Joanne captured something very unique uh, that we don't see every time or every day. Number one, it is a big cone shaped tornado, right? But not only that, this big cone shaped tornado has this veil around it. See the light gray colors? That's rain. So there is rain being wrapped around that tornado uh, and debris. It is on the ground. It is huge. This was northeast of the Ashby area. Joanne Orpen, thank you so much for taking the time to send in your photo. Thanks to all of you for taking the time to send in your photos. A dangerous, uh, large tornado has been on the ground impacting farmsteads. There has been a, a uh, a shaving off of the warned area by the National Weather Service. So Dalton and Ashby no longer in the, uh, in the uh, path of this storm. It has exited to your east. Um, Otter Tail reporting damage, thunderstorm wind damage and, and multiple trees down. I'm just trying to make sure that this is from the same storm or if it was from this morning's storm because we have had a lot of storms in Otter Tail. No, that's from this one. So it happened at 540 just 15 minutes ago, 10 minutes ago, uh, Otter Tail. Uh, from this storm up here, okay, got hit by some substantial winds, and we have trees down in Otter Tail. And so Otter Tail Lake, right in Otter Tail City on the east side, you can see it there, has had gusty straight line winds blow through with the storm, uh, and it has caused trees to be snapped, and there is damage reported in Otter Tail uh, as a re result of the storm, the extent of which will, uh, will, uh, is to be determined, but there are reports of trees down. The rotation with our uh, uh, tornado warning does continue to be apparent. Um, waiting for more word from chasers on this, if, if, they're indeed, if it indeed has lifted or if the, but we can tell you this, because we're seeing the greens and reds continuing to be next to each other, that uh, this storm is still showing signs of rotation. Oh, let me look at this. You're gonna see colors, see the colors pop and change there. Okay, what I'm doing is switching radars. They expired. Okay, they expired the uh, tornado warning as of just now. Okay, uh, the rotation still showing up very bright from the Aberdeen radar. So we still have very tight rotation with this storm right here. Um, but the National Weather Service has seen fit to expire the tornado warning. Uh, we will be back uh, uh, in moments to keep you updated with this storm as we continue to track it. And uh, gentlemen in the control room, what would you like me to do? The tornado warning has been expired. A rotating thunderstorm with very tight rotation continues to move along the southern branches uh, of this uh, thunderstorm cell. Repeat, please. Yes, and we've got, so, so we still have some rotation picked up in the upper levels of this cloud. So uh, you can go ahead and take me on camera. I just want to point out a couple of the troubles with Doppler radar. And uh, one thing that makes it tough is when we are looking at a storm that is a long ways away from the radar, the radar beam points up at an angle. The farther away from the radar we get, the higher in the cloud the radar beam is. Yes, Nathan? I've seen a lot of folks asking on Facebook how things look further upstream from this storm. So areas like Deer Creek, the Wadena area. So maybe could we touch just briefly on how things are looking, of course, toward a yeah, we'll, Deer Creek area? Yeah, we'll definitely well. do that. The, there has been wind damage in Otter Tail, uh, on the east side of Otter Tail Lake from these storms. So there are gusty straight line winds associated with the outflow from this storm right here. And those gusty outflow winds will be pushing in from the west southwest, and they're pushing in towards New York Mills now. So you've had one storm, one storm moving over you in New York Mills right now, and moving toward the Highway 10 corridor will be the outflow from this storm. Those winds will be strong. They caused damage 
There was no warning for Otter Tail City, but there's damage in the Otter Tail Lake area from the winds, and it's from all from the outflow of these storms. So we could still have very gusty winds in these areas. I don't expect widespread, severe level winds from them, but there is going to be uh, some significant, uh, significant stormy weather making its way into eastern Otter Tail County right now. And also, just to point out, we're going to continue to very, very closely watch this storm, which still so shows signs of pretty tight rotation, not far from the Urbank area on the south end of that storm. Uh, the tornado warning has been expired. Multiple reports of the tornado lifting uh, has caused the, um, the warning to be uh, expired. Uh, we received ports of three farmsteads. Uh, I'm not going to expect uh, or uh, speculate on any uh, injuries at this point. We know nothing. We're gathering that information. So what we will do is we will continue to effort to gather information from sources, from our news team, and let you know. But three farmsteads apparently have reportedly been hit by a, torna a large tornado working through southern Otter Tail County. Um, and, and we pray that nobody was in the path of the storms and that everybody was seeking shelter and safe, but that is sometimes uh, not possible. We'll keep you up to date with the very latest on that. We are monitoring this entire area here that you see from Otter Tail County through Sisseton for the development of thunderstorms tonight. They'll move to the east and a continued threat will be with us as we go through the late evening hours. And I do want to point out that we have a, until midnight, a severe thunderstorm watch, uh, hail, Damaging straight line winds and of course uh, isolated tornado cannot be ruled out and we'll keep you updated. We do have a little cell also forming by the way uh, as we wrap this up up not even in the watch area a strong storm on the Red Lakes area between uh, uh, upper Red Lake and Lower Red Lake there on the peninsula. So uh, if you're in that area, a little hail producing cell is developing there. We'll monitor all of these storms as we continue through the next few minutes for now. We are going to are we tossing to break? Okay, so here's what we're going to do. For our viewers on KX, you've been watching continuing coverage of a tornado warning that caused significant damage in southern Otter Tail County. We're going to wrap that up and get you back to your programming right now. And for our viewers here, we're going to continue with Valley News Live, and that continues right now. Live from Fargo and serving you on TV, online, and on the go, this is Valley News Live at 6. All right, for the past hour, you've been watching our storm team track a large tornado that touched down on the ground in Dalton, Minnesota, and uh, video sent to us from Christine Lavoie. The tornado was quite large. You saw Hutch uh, also talk about it now being uh, a little more in the clear, that area. Well, let's start our weather coverage for the latest trouble that's out there right now, and Hutch is here with the details. Hutch? All right. Thanks so much, guys. Yeah, again, we've been tracking that uh, rotating storm. The good news is there's plenty of spotters that are chasing this storm and are uh, witnessing the storm and are watching the storm. And they have reported that the large tornado has lifted and is no longer on the ground in Otter Tail County. Uh, the storm continues to show signs of rotation, though, uh, particularly near Urbank and Point South. Uh, it's a dangerous storm, so Hutch says it's still not.